What is going on everyone? This is Nate with Tiny Hilltop. So I have about 10 trees and some bushes and vines that I need to get buried, but I don't think our ground is quite ready yet. Today I'm going to skid some of the larger logs over to where I'm going to stack them. I have been kind of bucking the trees in place, but now that there's no snow, I think it makes more sense to skid the larger ones and split them over where I'm going to stack them to let it season over the summer. That's the most I've driven a quad in a while. I couldn't probably have done that about a year ago, but it did cash me out a little bit. When I'm back at it the next morning, I need to just start chipping away, clearing these logs out, and start loading up the wheelbarrow and making some trips. I'm done felling large trees for the most part, but I am gonna jump up this tree a little bit and open it up so trees behind it can get a little more light. When I fell those trees, there was one that got caught up in the tops. And what I did was I, it fell into a tree that was really leaning and I was gonna cut anyway just cause it was growing weird. So I just back, I, I put a notch in the back and I let mother nature take it. The tree kind of just softly took it after a little while after. But the problem was those, let, those tops fell into another top and I've got it pretty much cleaned up but the tops are still in the tree and it's kind of a tangled mess so I'm just gonna hook the quad up to it and see if I can pull it out. I 
got a lot of the logs moved and skidded the larger ones out, stacked them over by where I'm piling the firewood. I'm gonna change course a little bit. I still have more logs, not a lot, I still have more, but um, I just need to do something different right now than picking up logs and pushing them in that wheelbarrow. So what I'm gonna start doing is clearing out the brush and the, and the, the weeds and the, I think it's ragweed and, and some pickers. I'm gonna take the hedge trimmer, clear as close to the ground as I can, and I wanna rake them into huge piles. And my long-term goal is I wanna take those piles of mostly leaves, um, I'm gonna try to get the pickers out as much as possible, but mostly leaves, and put them in my chicken run once I get it set up so the chickens can turn it into compost over time. Right now I only have four birds, so I don't think it's quite enough, but I want to get about 10 chicks uh, in the middle of summer. I found a local breeder, for me, relatively local, that'll ship fewer in the summer months just because we're really close, relatively speaking, as far as hatcheries go. So I'm gonna do that in a couple months, and my, my goal is, by the time I get those and get them feathered and can get them out into the run, I'll have you know three or four very large piles for them to dig through for grubs and, and food and worms and also to break down for compost that I can use next year. So I'm gonna get going on that. See you uh, and see where the day takes me. I had a slight change of plans. I started clearing it and then raking, but the raking just kind of seemed fruitless. The The matter I was getting is just mostly sticks and ragweed, which is not ideal for what I want to use to compost. So anyway, I just went through and I cleared out the sticks, got the larger sticks out, cut down any pickers and ragweed. The ragweed is laying down right now from the weight of the snow still. So what I did was I just took the hedge trimmer and ran it across their bodies as they lay down. So I should take care of those. Um, I'm probably gonna come out here every couple weeks and just kind of use the hedge trimmer. And then I'm gonna slowly mulch. I'm gonna mulch where I plant the trees and blackberries and blueberries first and work out from there. If I had more access to wood chips, I would just mulch this whole thing right off the bat. But living in the middle of nowhere is not ideal for wood chips because people cut their own trees um, for firewood. So the, the chipping companies are, are a good 30, 40 miles away. So it's hard to find someone that has a bunch extra that needs to drop them off. But the search continues and I have about 10 cubic yards right now to start and I'm gonna keep looking for them and, and go from there. But I'm ready to plant this now. Also, my dad did say he's gonna give me a wood chipper. So that's gonna help a lot. My pile is getting pretty large at this point. Um, he was not excited about looking at the tops all year because I was just kind of kind of let them lay and then deal with them slowly as other things kind of got done around here throughout the season. 
Um, but he got me a chipper, or he's going to, so I'm going to chip those. That'll help. Um, also, I'm going to kind of go through and find any trees that fell down and, and look for the tops and try to chip what I can. So I'm excited to get planting. Um, I also found my safety glasses. I dropped them when I was felling some trees in the snow and I looked for them, but the snow had overtaken them. So I found those again, which is cool because I enjoy using my chainsaw when I don't have to worry about getting shards of tree in my eye. But anyway, so that's that. Um, I'm ready to plant, got this area clear. I'm excited to get some trees in the ground. So I'll be working on that in the, in the near future here. Um, thanks for watching, I appreciate it. Take it easy, have a good one.